today we are going to have a lecture on using the autoclave. The autoclave is essentially a giant pressure cooker. It will sterilize your uh, media or anything you want sterilized. But remember that it's going to be s making everything swim in steam. So you don't want things in here that will fall apart at water that is at 121 degrees Celsius. Okay. So um, the first thing we're going to do with the autoclave is put something in it to sterilize. All right. We look inside, and there's water swimming around in the bottom. That's tap water. It's dirty tap water, but it is necessary because we need to get the steam from somewhere. So inside we have a basket, okay? And uh, so we can put our things in the basket. Let's autoclave this bottle of media. So this bottle has been prepared for autoclaving. It has a piece of foil on it, okay? And on the, the foil, we want to put in, actually the, the bottle should not be sealed completely. We want to have it just open enough, just a little bit, okay? And then um, we can put the foil on it, right? Just a nice square piece of foil, loose lid. We put the foil over it. Why are we putting foil on it? Because Everything underneath the foil is going to be sterile. So when we take it out of the autoclave, it will be protected from things like hands, spores in the air, breath, all these things that will inoculate your perfectly clean media, which you don't want. You don't want it inoculated. You want sterile media. Okay? So once we've got the foil on it, make sure you have a proper label okay, with your name and your date. It, the stripes will turn black when it reaches the proper temperature. So we're going to just put that on top. Don't put the tape all over the bottle because it just ruins the bottles eventually. That you can't. You know, it's something like a nice clean bottle. You know, when it's got tape glue all over it, it kind of ruins the whole thing. Okay. So now we're going to put it down in, right? And um, generally, you like to have a few more things than just one there for the sake of saving energy. You know, but what? Anyway, this is just a demonstration, so. All right, so then we close the lid, close, seal, land, ho, oh, there it is, sealed, okay? First you close the lid and then you seal it, okay? Because then you want it in the right position and you close it down and the gasket will be smashed onto the top of the autoclave so you create a tight seal, all right? Then we're gonna take, there's a little exhaust, exhaust, button up here, it says exhaust. We're going to close the exhaust. And what does that do? It, prevent, it, it enables the steam pressure to build up inside the autoclave. Okay, turn, turn on the autoclave. There it is. Top is the temperature at which we're sterilizing it, and the bottom is the time, 20 minutes. Sounds good to me. And that's all we need to do. And we press start. Beep. Okay, so it's going to heat up. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to reach its 121 degrees, and there's a pressure gauge here. And the pressure gauge, you'll see the pressure go up because 121 means in order to get to, to 121 degrees, it's got to be higher than atmospheric pressure. Okay, so it's going to go up. And then when it's done, it's going to beep that it's done. Okay, and we're going to come on over to the autoclave when it's done. And we are going to open then this valve, and you'll hear it go all the pressure's going off, okay? And then we have to wait until it gets down to about around 100 degrees before we actually reach in and pull out our thing, okay? So, and then that's it. You open it back up again and get your stuff done. Thank you!